If you're a fan of that little imaginary town in Indiana, you should be watching this video because today we're going to be taking a look at some of the craziest behind the scenes secrets of the Stranger Things you never knew. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. One, no phones on set. This is a rule that you might find quite absurd, especially with the attachments people have with their phones in modern times. However, if you think it through, it does make sense. The Duffer Brothers set the show in the 80s. Well, can you guess one of the biggest tech devices that was absent in the 80s? Mobile phones. So this rule helps the cast members to stay in their roles and perfectly reproduce the nostalgia the show is known for. Also, there will be none of those bloopers where a phone rings on set and they have to redo the whole scene. Two, the demo puppies were actually just jelly. Anyone remember that scene where Dustin found the demo puppy? puppies that he loved so much until they turned out to be demo dogs. We all know those creatures weren't real, so how were the cast members able to pull it off? Easy. They did it with jelly. Not those sweet types that you consume. We could imagine one of the cast members eating the demo dog jellies mistakenly on set. That would definitely be hilarious. They shaped inedible jelly into the action figures of demo puppies, after which they used CGI to turn these creatures into the horrors that we see on our screens. This helps to give the cast members something to look at. This way, their eyes were not in the wrong place when the crew had to edit the scenes. For those wondering how they kept this trick up, when they grew into demo dogs? We have your answer right here. Since they can't mold jelly into those giant creatures, they'd probably have to buy the whole store of jelly to achieve that. They simply got plastic heads that were as big as a demo dog's head. They put them on sticks and the actors used this as a direction for their eye line. Three, Eleven's nose drip. This is probably one of the most discussed behind the scenes secrets of the show. Almost every fan is quizzed about how Millie Bobby Brown was able to pull off the blood dripping from her nose every time she had to use her telekinetic powers. First, it is not actual blood. It is made from something probably sitting on your kitchen shelf right now, the crew needed a blood recipe that could flow when they needed it to. This is obviously something that's not easy to pull off, but they did. They tried things like ketchup, which turned out to be too thick. Imagine the whole crew waiting for the blood from Eleven's nose to drip so the scene could continue. They pulled off the trick with corn syrup stored in a squeezable bottle. All Millie had to do was squeeze a little bit into her nose and lean her head back slightly until she needed it to flow. Sounds easy? It required a lot of work from the young actress. Thank you, Millie. However, they didn't use this method for all the blood drips. In some scenes where she used her powers in fight scenes and couldn't get to the bottle, the crew used CGI blood. Without CGI, we probably wouldn't have a lot of the monsters we had in the show. Thanks to technology for this awesome gift. Four, the props are really from the 80s. One of the factors that makes Stranger Things resound with its audience is its ability to evoke nostalgia from the 80s. The songs, dressing, props, everything was made to perfection. There were snacks like Eggo waffles, which have been around for that long, the kids' BMX banana seat bikes, and so many other oldies. If you think the crew made them from CGI, you're so wrong. The crew spent a total of $220,000 scouring eBay to find these old products. This shows just how much money and resources go into making the perfect movies and shows for our delight. 5. Sadie, the skater who never skated before. If you were told to imagine Sadie Sinks playing the role of Max Mayfield in the show, it'll be hard to create a picture without her skateboard in it. What if we told you guys Sadie had never been on a skateboard before shooting Stranger Things? Sounds crazy, right? It's true though. When Sadie was informed about her role, she felt terrified of the learning process. We expect any normal human being to be scared. To help her ease into the role, she had two skateboarding teachers, one who helped her on set at the shooting camp in Atlanta and another who taught her at home. Another compulsory rule she had to obey was the use of protective gear while training. She spoke about the experience of always looking like a marshmallow at a skating rink where it was hard to find anyone else with skating gear. This rule turned out to be a blessing in disguise as she revealed that one of her teachers broke his arm during the training. Imagine having to wait longer because a cast member broke their arm? We're glad it didn't happen that way. 6. The Van Flip If a friend asked you to recall a list of your epic moments in the first season of Stranger Things, this scene would definitely make the cut. Let's run through that scene for those who haven't seen it yet. So, the Hawkins, Power, and Light Vans were pursuing Mike, Eleven, Dustin, and Lucas. The kids were on their bikes, pedaling as fast as they could. Then, a van suddenly comes out of nowhere, coming straight at them, with three vans at the back. Eleven furrows her brow, and the rest, as they say, is history. The surprising fact about this scene was that the van actually flipped. The crew used explosives to make the van flip. If you thought the kids rode under a flipping van though, you're so wrong. Don't worry, you're not the only one on that boat. Caleb McLaughlin, who played Lucas, thought this would have been the case too. They only had to pretend a van was above them, so that explains the expressions on their faces as the van flipped right over them. If they did ride beneath the van, it might not have turned out so well. We found out that the first time they tried the van flip, the van landed right where the kids would have been. We all know what happens if a van lands right on top of you. 
1987, the Demogorgon was a real human being. Don't misinterpret that. The Demogorgon isn't real. However, someone wore the costume. The Duffer Brothers didn't use CGI for the whole Demogorgon design because they were trying to cut down the use of tech and make some things look realistic as possible. This explains the van flip too. So they decided to use an actor who wore the costume. If you want to know the actor who wore the costume that gave us some sleepless nights, you can search Mark Sager on Google. 8. The Mind Flayer is also human. Not the same guy though. The Mind Flayer was acted by another guy who only wore a red costume. While the Mind Flayer is still the biggest villain the show has seen, it was only acted by a guy jumping around on his fours. Imagine all those scary scenes where the Mind Flayer was at its worst behavior. Now, link that to a guy crawling on all fours. That takes out the horror in the whole Mind Flayer character. We laughed our heads off watching the actor just crawl around and scatter props around the room. 9. Joe Keery's Hair On today's episode of Weird Actors Filming Contracts, our star man is Joe Keery. Before Joe took up his acting role, a clause was inserted into his contract. This clause states that he must not change his full curly haircut throughout the filming of the show. While this might seem a little strict, we could understand the reason behind this. Imagine Joe Keery with a new haircut in the next season. It would definitely change our perception of the world's best babysitter. Even Joe takes no objection to the clause. He mentions how he was already used to having his head filled with hair and how it has become a part of him. Not only Joe has restrictions on his hair, there's also a rule that states that other characters have to get a haircut only on set. They can do it independently, but it must be under one of the artistic director's supervision. However, Joe isn't allowed to get the slightest change to his cut. 10. The walkie-talkies actually work. Although there are modern walkie-talkies like those used by the police, the ones used by the kids in Stranger Things were actually very archaic and are not even supposed to be functional anymore. Since the kids were supposed to use them to communicate with each other, the trick they used was this. The person acting the scene would speak with their walkie-talkie and someone off the camera would reply with a microphone so that the kids can time their line well. This means the walkie-talkies shouldn't work as this could destroy the whole sequence. However, these ancient walkie-talkies mysteriously come to life at times. When that happens, it messes up the shot and they'll have to retake it. That wraps up the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini or MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple.